Did you catch that? Only saw three edges of cross. Hmm. Interesting. That was pretty cool. It was indeed. You see, the method I used there is cross minus one. It is very similar to, if not the same as Hawaiian Kashimba. And you know, there's not a ton of information about Hawaii Kashimba out there. So let's just call cross minus one a simpler version or a variant of Hawaiian Kashimba. So how do you do cross minus one? Well, it's pretty simple. The first thing you have to do is make an arrow or what I like to call cross minus one. Then you do F2L and then solve the last layer in basically any way you want. But you know, there's so many ways you can do it. So just be creative. You know, I have a spreadsheet linked in the description that has a bunch of Nautilus algs that are actually pretty helpful for cross minus one in Hawaiian Kashimba. So feel free to check it out. Cross minus one is actually very simple and it actually might be easier than normal cross. All you have to do is make an arrow. I guess make sure it's pointing away from you so you have the open slot facing you. And that's really it. Just try not to rotate and wide U moves are actually very helpful during this step. When doing F2L, you want to make sure you have the open slot facing you. It just makes it easier and, you know, it's easier to do it rotationless when the slot's facing you. And, you know, it's pretty easy. Most of the cases are normal. There are a few block building tricks that you can use, which actually makes this rotationless, which is pretty cool. And um, I'll show you them all right now. So the red green edge is in the open slot on the bottom and the white green red edge is right here, which you pair. Basically all I do is put the edge, put the corner back here and then do M prime, U2, M, and then it pairs it up and then you can insert. And then I like this insert where it's just a R wide U, R, R wide prime. Here's another pretty um, easy case with cross minus one. Um, it's right here where you have the two white, red, green, and green, red here. All you gotta do is just M prime, uh, U prime, M, and just insert it. Pretty easy. Um, that case is really easy, and I like doing that a lot. There's another really simple case where you have the red, green, and here's the white, red, green here. So all you gotta do is just an M prime, and those pair up pretty easily. And then you can insert that. Not a big deal. Now here's this pair where they're flipped. Um, this pair is pretty simple to do normally, where you just do this um, R, you do R prime. You can do that, or you can also do M prime, you two, M. You know, both ways are pretty good. I do prefer the just the normal way to solve it, but sometimes you will have to use the U version to kind of make it easier to not rotate. And then here to insert this, um, I would just do a M prime to connect these, and then a U, or actually, a U2 and then just kind of insert like that, you know, nothing too difficult. Like I said earlier, there are many ways that you can do last layer of cross minus one. So here are a few ways that I recommend trying. You can do CMLL, then orientate the rest of the edges and do an H, U or Z perm to finish up the solve. Or if you don't want to learn a bunch of CMLL algs, you can learn the first look of two look CMLL. What I mean by that is that you can learn the algorithms that orientate the corners. Then you can orientate the rest of the edges and then do a PLL. You can even insert the last cross edge and do OLL and PLL like normal. Or if you're insane, you can learn HKOLL or HKPLL and solve it that way. <laughs> And you know, you can also learn L5E, which, you know, has an insane 245 algs. I was way too optimistic with that alg set. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so here's a few walkthrough solves. Okay, so here I'm gonna do white cross and I see that we have the white orange here. So I'm just gonna kind of make the cross pretty simply. Just kind of do that. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and then, um, then here's the white blue here. So I'm just gonna connect it there and then I got the white green here and then I got this now I can go for X cross here but yeah I'll do that it's a back move and boom um here I'm going to go do this pair so just do that and then I'm gonna do an M prime to pair them up and then insert them and I have this white blue here, white blue red. It's another white blue red. 
I mean blue red. So then I'll just kind of take this out and then I can insert them. I pair them up, insert them, and then simple three move there. Now I would have to take the white red out. I'm sure there was a way that I could have not done that, but you know, I'm not very good at this yet, so just hang on with me. So then inserting this, I would actually put the yellow piece back here because I know I can make a cross with that case. And then, you know, OLL, PLL, and yeah, that's that. I put in this yellow green here, and then I'm going to align them again, and then solve this yellow red. And then I see that I have this pair here, so I'll just insert that. Then I have an easy pair right here, so I can just F2 with that one. And then I have this case here, which I'll just do that and then insert them. And then I have this case or well, this pair. So what I can do here is I can actually go this. So kind of just move this piece back here. And then I did that. I can insert that. I inserted the cross edge at the same time in OLL and PLL. All right, this is another pretty simple cross. So, I mean, arrow or semi cross or um, cross minus one. <laughs> so, you know, just down two. And then I have back move. That's a B or a B prime. I have no idea. And then I just kind of take the cross. Then here, I, ha I see I have this pair right here so I'll pair them up and then I'll insert them I have another pair right here that's kind of the simplest so I can go like uh, this right here then I can insert them and then I see I have something else right here so I'll just kind of take this out like that and then the easiest way to make this pair would be to put this in the back, M prime U2 M, and then I can enter that. And I have this pair here, so I'll move this to the front, and I'll move this edge over here. With, um, what was that? An M prime U, M prime U M. So, and then I'll just kind of make this pair and put it in. Hello and. Yellow. Right, this one's pretty easy. So I'm, I'm gonna do yellow cross and I'm gonna put this piece up, put it in, down two, and then put this piece in. There, I will do. Uh, have this yellow, red, green, and this green, red here. So I'll kind of pull this out like that. And I'll do a U2. I'll, I'll make these and then I'll insert them. And then I have this pair here that I can make like that. And then insert them with a wide move insert. And then I have these two pieces right here. So then I'll just kind of connect them like this. And then do an R U2 that. And then I'll insert them and bring down the M slice at the same time. And then I have this back here, which in this case isn't the best, but wide move. I'll just use wide moves for this. And I got unlucky I had this down there. I This can be avoided. I just, I haven't actually like practiced that yet. So forgive me. So I take that out and then I, I see I have this, this kind of setup again. So then I can do that, make a cross. Or you know what, actually, with this, I think I could have done kind of like CMLL there, put all that up, make a cross, and then I could do this. Ignore the plus two. <laughs> um, yeah, those are the walkthrough solves. Yay. Plus minus one is really cool, and I've had a ton of fun using it and learning it. You know, it's been a fun time. If you want to learn more about it, watch this video. Um, besides that, love you, bye, and thanks for a thousand. <laughs>